Good morning, class. Today we will learn about the derivatives of the inverse trig functions. Okay, so first we have the derivative of sine inverse is 1 on square root 1 minus x squared. The derivative of cos inverse is the negative of that. The derivative of tan inverse is 1 on 1 plus x squared. Okay, that's it for today's lesson. For homework, just do the four quintillion pages of chapter 1, exercise 1, and hand it in tomorrow. If this is your teacher, I understand why you hate math. But don't worry, I'm your teacher now. And I'm an expert. These derivatives are not just random formulas mathematicians made up. They all make sense. To understand why, we need an another formula. Let y equals f inverse x. The reason we're doing this is because this way we can take f of both sides. And that removes the inverse function, leaving us with f of y equals x. Next, we differentiate with respect to y, because that way we're differentiating with respect to the input of f. Notice that dx dy is 1 on dy dx. So we take the reciprocal and get dy dx equals 1 on f prime of y. But y is just f inverse x. So if we replace it with that, we get our formula. It's that simple. So how can we use this formula? to find the derivative of the inverse trig functions. The derivative of inverse tan can be calculated if we let f of x equal tan x. So that means f prime of x equals x squared x. Now plugging into the formula, we get this. Well, we just use the trig identity. 1 plus tan squared equals x squared. If you don't know where this is from, it's just from the sine squared plus cos squared equals 1 identity. We have 1 on 1 plus tan squared tan inverse x. Tan and tan inverse x undo each other. So this is just 1 on 1 plus x squared. That's it. That's why the derivative of the inverse tan is 1 on 1 plus x squared. Let's try sine inverse. First we let f equal sine x. So f prime is cos x. Taking the derivative of sine inverse gives 1 on cos sine inverse. Okay, now we just need to simplify cos of sine inverse. We know cos squared is equal to 1 minus sine squared. So we square root both sides, introducing the plus minus, and then we replace x with sine inverse x. But sine and sine inverse undo each other. So this is plus minus the square root of 1 minus x squared. But do we take plus or minus, or how do we work this out? Well, the definition of a sine inverse means that it's between minus pi on 2 and pi on 2. And in that interval, Cosine is positive, so cos of sine inverse has to be positive. That means we take plus, not the minus. And that means the derivative of sine inverse is 1 on the square root of 1 minus x squared. And so, these are the derivatives of the inverse trig functions. You can try cos inverse yourself. Try to prove it. It's not too hard if you follow this formula and use similar ideas to what I used here. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. It's completely free and I, I kind of need it. Bruh.